Hola amigos, what is up? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. My name is Tails Fly Raga, but you knew that already. Wait a minute. Anyway, uh, yesterday... not yesterday, it's, it's still today, don't worry. Last time, <laughs> we opened up the bedroom dome, the next dome in the game. And of course, we've gotta go there and kick some ass! Or, you know, collect some power stars, I guess that works too. Enemy base spotted, we're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Didn't you say that last time? Alright, whatever. So the bedroom, of course, has some new galaxies for us, starting with... Da 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 da! Gusty Garden Galaxy, which... Suffice to say, I think this might be the favorite as far as galaxies are concerned in this game. A lot of people really like Gusty Garden Galaxy and I honestly don't blame them. Bunnies in the Wind is the first stage of this stage. I probably could have thought that one through a little bit better. So, I'm gonna be honest here, uh, before Mario Galaxy even, like, before I even got, like, a copy of Super Mario Galaxy, I fell in love with this music. In fact, this entire galaxy was great because I think they showed this one off, uh, quite a bit in the adverts for the game, too. Like, the TV spot that was going on at the time, advertising this game, I think they showed this galaxy off a fair amount. But this is honestly one of the cooler galaxies out there. It doesn't necessarily have that space feel to it, but... This galaxy does have quite a few cool things about it, and... For starters, it's a wind stage. That's... that's always cool. Sky levels. Just get to see the beautiful sky below you sky above you, and of course there's the prerequisite stars, because it's a galaxy. And a ring of star bits over there. And that's pretty much going to show us that these things... We can collect some rings of stars. Now one of the other things to note about this galaxy is the big gimmick of these, uh... Dandelion, puffy, doohickey things. I'm pretty sure that's the proper term for them. Basically, you can fly on those in the direction that the wind is going, as long as you, uh... I mean, can keep some horizontal momentum, and as long as you don't, like waste all your shakes. So basically, when you start to descend, you can shake the Wii Remote in order to go rise back up. But you only get like three of those shakes, so... Gotta be careful about that. More piranha plants to avoid. Generally, it's when the Wii Remote kind of starts to rumble, that's when you want to do your next shake. Well, I've also got some lovely little beans to go on, giant beans. They are kind of clever with these planetoids, because it really does go with the garden theme, how we have these, like, bean-themed planets. This is also our first time seeing just regular-ass pokies. Stomp on them, get a coin, shake into them, get star bits. You know the deal. Pretty sure you know the deal by this point. There's more star bits. Shake, shake, shake. Get that one up. And on the other side here... Get the bulb. We're actually going to be seeing quite a few Pokies in this, uh, dome, actually. The Bedroom Dome has, I think, two galaxies with Pokies in them? 
this one where everything is like plant themed, and the next one where. I believe the next one's a uh, Dusty Dune Galaxy the Desert. Either that or that's the last one in this film, but I think it's the next one. Regardless, though, we've got bunnies to catch. Think you can catch me, boyoing? Alright, so this mission is not too difficult. You do gotta be careful about the bunny. Gotta catch him. But thankfully there's nothing like a time limit or anything around here. And there is one of these kinds of missions later on in the game that does actually have... A... Oh, I never even rem... I don't even remember this, but this is cool. You actually go inside the cube. Alright, let's get this guy. I think we can get this guy. There we go. You got me here, take this. We got ourselves a lovely little power star. It's very nice. So let's grab that by leaping off the top rope. Oh man, speaking of going off the top rope, I'm excited for the new Pokemon. So, uh, just to date this video when I'm recording this, this is the 27th of October that I'm recording this, and earlier this morning they revealed the new Pokemon, the starter Pokemon Final Evolutions, and everyone is, you know, getting all angry because, oh no, uh, Litten evolves into some kind of big macho wrestler guy. But it turns out that A, Wrestling Cat is amazing looking, and B, it's a fire and dark type, not a fire and fighting type. So, everyone who was worried about having another fire and fighting type, now they have a Pokemon that is like legitimately called the Heal Pokemon. And his fucking signature move is like Darkest Lariat. Oh man, that's so... That, that, that's pretty great. Like, I just love when they go whole hog on kind of the goofiness of some of the Pokemon. And I honestly think that, uh... Swole Cat, why did I- why did I jump? Why did I jump? WHY DID I JUMP?! Guys, I jumped. I honestly think that Swole Cat is, a uh, Pretty good- pretty good Pokemon. I don't lie. Then again, because of the fact that, you know, it's it's supposed to be like a, a heel, but it also has something of a sense of justice. It basically reminds me a lot of uh, Tizok from Garo, Mark of the Wolves, or as some people might know him now, uh, King of Dinosaurs in The King of Fighters 14. Alright, so here we have a new-ish enemy. Basically these moles. Now we have moles that will actually move around and kick up dirt. And you can tell where the moles actually are going to be because they're actually on these little paths here. Uh, you can also step on the rocks that they- the soil that they kick up in order to break the soil, but... You do have to be careful, as these guys recover from their stun animation pretty quickly, actually. Let's chase this guy. Don't know where he's going, but I know where he's going. Oh, hello there, sir. Mole Man the Third, Esquire. It's a mystery to everyone. Stump in here, isn't it? Stump. No, it's just a coin. Okay, never mind. It's nothing interesting. Let's go on. This is another planetoid that I'm actually kind of fond of, but we don't actually go to it yet. I believe we go to it in a secret mission in this world, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Also, you guys a fan of apples? 
You guys a fan of worms? Because there's this big old caterpillar worm dude here. It's gonna go from apple to apple. Now let's stomp him a little bit more. And ride him to the next apple. There we go. What a nice sequence break. That one was not the right peg. Sorry, Steely Dan. Maybe this one. There we go. Hi there, hi there, dude. You all right there? He's all right. He's kind of smiling, don't worry. We got another thorn-covered planet here. Stomp this. And that gives us a power mushroom that we can go ahead and grab right now. Which is good because we're actually going to come up to a boss fight. Now the stage is called The Dirty Tricks of Major Burrows, so of course, we've got to fight Major Burrows. Now this is an interesting boss fight. Basically, you gotta wait for him to get up out of the... Okay, or you land on his hand, that works too. Wait for him to get up out of the dirt and ground pound in order to smack him and deal damage. Afterwards, Major Burrows is gonna take a couple of hits. He's gonna start coming after us now, so... We do gotta be careful, and each hit we clock on him does make him a little bit more aggressive. He also runs away a little bit quicker after you take him out of the ground. There we go, that's the last hit. It's easy right now, but I believe there is a fight against him later that has a comet in effect that will make things quite a bit more difficult. But for now, that boss fight's pretty much a piece of cake. It's a mystery to everyone. Sorry, that, that question mark planetoid is just one of my favorite things in this galaxy, actually. <laughs> Alright, so that's Power Star number two for this video. Dirty Tricks of Major Burrows clear, and we actually have a thousand star bits now. One thousand star bits! Come on down! You're the next contestant on Win a Thousand Star Bits! Starring your host, Mario! I'm not gonna do a Mario voice, don't worry. Gusty Gardens Gravity Scramble, last mission of this galaxy, so let's get on into it. There we go. So this is where it kind of abandons the theme of the whole garden aspect for a while. It doesn't really abandon it to- oh, hello there, little fucker. Don't, don't think I didn't see you. Where are you going? Where are you- where do you come from? Where did you go? Stomping doesn't do anything. There we go. Grab some star bits for our troubles. And there's another star bag here. Nope. Chasing him. We can do this, come on. There we go. Give me your money, man. All I want's the money. All I want, I all I want is that just that gold. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. Uh, we have not caught the wind. I've noticed. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. I shouldn't have talked about leprechauns. All right. Let's catch the wind. There's another mystery coin here. 
So pretty much you get kind of another gimmick of this stage is just chaining these mystery coins together to get as many star bits as you can. Alright, so that also actually warns us that this piranha plant here has a bean sprout we need. Beanstalk. Jack and the beanstalk! There we go. And, oh, uh, what we can actually do here is grab a secret star. It's actually a bit easier than grabbing the normal star in this world. All you need to do is find this golden chain chomp, break him open, murder this poor chain chomp. Star. He wasn't using it for anything, so we may as well take it. Save the game and get back on board to the gravity scramble. Thankfully, we can skip the cutscene at least. Alright, let's get, grab these mystery coins again. No, we don't really need to. In fact, I'm just gonna ignore that one. Alright. Just, you, you guys have seen these, these beans. Now, if you don't collect all the mystery coins, obviously the rainbow star is not going to be there, and you can't get that hidden star. Which, I'm not too worried about, because we already have it now, so... May as well just progress as normal, hit a plant as normal, and just go on. So, Gusty Garden's Gravity Scramble. Start this. There's a screw here. Turning on the screw. That reminds me, I wonder if my friend Chris... Not the Chris I record videos with, but a friend I knew from high school. I wonder if he still wants his copy of, uh... If he wants his copy of Era Vulgaris back. Because a few years ago, we did kind of an, an exchange where he let me borrow a copy of, uh... Queens of the Stone Age, Era Vulgaris. And I gave him the Soundgarden Greatest Hits, you know, the Telephantasm that came out for uh, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. And actually, yeah, I gave him my Warriors of Rock copy of it. But I wonder, does, does he want, does he want his uh, Queens of the Stone Age album back? I don't think he even watches these videos, to be fair. He tuned into one of the Dead Space streams, though, so that's cool. By the way, for those of you guys who don't know, I've actually been streaming Dead Space over on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Tales Fyraga, Liberty Blop. And I honestly have to say, Dead Space is actually pretty fun. I like it a lot, actually. I don't think it's the best, like, survival horror game that I've played, but... I think it's honestly pretty good. Plays fairly well. I, I like the concept of, like, dismembering enemies, hitting their weak points to progress. Speaking of dismemberment, let's go to the most violent video game of all, Switching Gravity! And more than just that, I'm 
transport some star bits along the way, so anything that's lit up right now, we can get on top of. Which thankfully means the cylinder, we can get on top of it. Jump onto and upon it. Now here's where the fun truly begins. Got a bullet hell to go through. Well, okay, maybe it's not that much of a bullet hell. It's pretty easy to dodge. Don't worry, I've played Toho Project. I know all about this. And by that, I mean I've played... most of the Windows Toho games. And have beaten two. I beat Perfect Cherry Blossom, which is arguably the easiest Toho game, and I beat, uh, Phantasmagoria Flower View. These days I'll have to sit down and beat Ten Desires. I don't know who I want to beat it with, though. Probably, uh, either Sine or Yomu. Maybe. I don't know. Regardless, that's all the stages for this area right now, and we don't have this galaxy open to us yet. I guess, however, we can show off what the next galaxy is, and it is Freeze Flame Galaxy, which I'll cover next time, but for now, I think there might be another green star that we can get now. So let's go back on over to the Mail Toad and see if he has anything new for us. Who's the male toad? There's the male toad! Yo, toad! Alright, well, he doesn't have any letters right now. At least we can talk to Luigi. Yo, Weege! What's up? Give me the scoop! Alright, well, that's fine. Uh... So how's the map looking? Can't view the map there. Right, fair enough. Because here's the map right here, so... Take a look. Alright, let's back up, then take a look. Alright, so Terrace... You know what? To end this off, let's show off a comet. So the Prankster Comets, I've already made mention of them a bunch and have avoided going back into galaxies because of it, but now we can actually do this. So there's five different kinds of prankster comets. Daredevil Comet, Speedy Comet, Fast Foe Comet, uh, Cosmic Comet, and Purple Comet. So I guess we're going to be covering the Cosmic Comet here, which, if you guys aren't a fan of racing games, is going to be a treat. So anytime you go into a galaxy that currently has a comet orbiting around it, you're actually forced to do that mission. You can't do any other mission. Not only that, but the screen will also have a filter on it depending on the comet you're currently doing the mission of right now. Now, everything looks normal right now, right? Look around, notice everything's normal, everything's fine, this is still here. Nothing suspicious, other than the music being very suspicious and the weird filter on the screen. Talk over there, press Z to crouch. Crouch and press A to do a backward somersault. They're teaching us some important stuff here. I don't really know what this is all about, so we go up here and... Oh. Welcome to the first race against the Cosmic Clone. And there's a way to get a turbo boost against this guy, but I honestly don't remember how. Basically, the Cosmic Comet is a race against a Cosmic Clone. It's usually pretty easy. Uh, I think there's a galaxy later on. I believe it's uh, either one of the galaxies in the engine or one of the galaxies in the... Uh, the last area of the game, where the Cosmic Clone is a little bit hard to beat. That's mostly due to the mechanics in place in that mission, though, and 
you'll understand eventually. But that's a Honey Hive Cosmic Comet mission, so that's our first comet defeated, more or less. And each time you go into a mission, you'll notice that the comets will change around, and you're also able to replay any comet level at pretty much any time. So that's pretty good. Save our game. Is there any other comet that I can show off here? Uh, not here. Alright. So I think that might do it for this episode. If there's another comet somewhere easy to get to that I'll do, I might do that. Oh, hello, Toad. A letter from Luigi. Ah, this is what I was talking about earlier. To view a picture, pause the screen and check out the letter icon. So, A, I'm going to hope that Battle Rock Galaxy doesn't have a comet in play right now. And if it doesn't, we can do this mission. If it does, we'll probably save the mission for next episode. But do a little check here. Grab that. Ah, uh, yeah, Daredevil Comet in orbit. All right. Well, we'll save Luigi next time. He can he can survive in space for a little while longer. Regardless, however, this has been Tales of Raga, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. So, until then, this is Tales of Raga signing out. Take care, everyone. See you guys. <laughs>